Calvin Castine at Northern Adirondack Central School. It's the 13th day of December 12, 13, 12. And this is Junior Varsity Boys Basketball in the CVAC. We're in beautiful downtown Allenburg Corners. It's the red, white, and blue of Sable Valley Patriots in the green and gold. Northern Adirondack Bobcats Junior Varsity Boys Basketball. A couple of Fellows from the Champlain area are officiating. Clock is not running yet. Hup, hup, hup. We're starting early and uh, somebody forgot to tell the timer. <laughs> Jeff Dory will figure it out. <laughs> uh oh, now the clock doesn't want to cooperate. It was running, they ticked down to uh, start time and now it won't run here. This is uh, Paul Gehrig and Andy Morelli are your officials. You got Gardner and Douglas are your coaches. They uh, give you the lineup for the Bobcats very quickly while we have a moment here. Corey LaFountain is 10, Brandon Hansen is 11, Cam Juro is tw uh, 12, Josh Jetman 13, Dylan Miller 14, Stephen Wark is 15, Ethan King 21, Bailey Cross 22, Darian Velasquez 23, Evan Lajway 25, and James Minkler 31. For the visitors, you've got Devins, Taylor, Perez, Manning, Knapp, Harrell, Hanley, Coolidge, Perquet, Sicador, and Sicador. Timeout on the floor while they work on the clock, which was working fine till the game started. How about that? They had to put something up on the scoreboard, so they ticked off eight seconds. So. Since that basket occurred kind of quick, they're going to call it just eight seconds gone. And now they're trying to work to get the time to, I mean, excuse me, the score to go up on the scoreboard. Uh, this is the 13th. So this game uh, originally was supposed to include modified and varsity two, but the concert tonight, that's why they're starting a wee bit early. So it's just the JVs. Well, since we were coming for the concert anyway, we decided we would uh, get here at 4.30 rather than at 6 and get the ball game, then the concert. They didn't open the bleachers all the way up, so we are a little further down than uh, we normally are, which is fine with us because it's a different angle. And I actually prefer this angle, maybe a foot or two higher, but uh, just a slightly elevated angle is, uh, is good for basketball. The basket is good by, I think that was 22, that would be Cross, Bailey Cross. Everybody moving the ball quickly. Rebound pulled down by 23, that's Velasquez. This is Cross in the backcourt. When we covered the team last year, he was uh, on the injured list. I think, I'm not sure if he was on the JVs or modified, but I remember he was uh, injured and we didn't get to, to see him play. Jutman is coming in. He's replacing Hansen. And it looks like Manning will inbound it for the Patriots. Referee Morelli is it to Manning. Manning passes it down the line. And the Patriots have the ball. Right away is missed. Put back. And good job there by Cross. But we have a whistle. Temperature. Uh, it's still up in the 30s uh, when I arrived here. It's uh, got up to about 40 today on this 13th of December. Yesterday, of course, was the, the big 12-12-12 day. That shot is missed. It was taken by Ethan King. And stolen back by King. Whoops. Our famous zoom as I look away. Zoom keeps on a zoom, and that's going to be a foul. If 
foul will be on number 10, Corey LaFountain. And it'll be two shots for Manning. This team is up four to two at the moment. Junior varsity boys basketball. The varsity and modified will play tomorrow night, but tomorrow night I'm going to be at uh, Northeastern for a girls game. It's now five to two. Velasquez puts it to the floor. Whoops, takes an extra step in there. And here comes the pitch. Illegal screen and cross. Bears the brunt of that. King on that one. Number was kind of blocked out. The Fountain throws it up, rebounded by the Patriots. It's one of the second uh, fellows, or two of them. I apologize if I'm not pronouncing it correctly. The Fountain with the rebound. 4.47 to go in the opening period. 5-4 off Sable Valley leads. We're hoping that we'll be able to get this game to its conclusion. But uh, we have to be at that uh, concert by 6 o'clock, which is of course just down the hall here, but uh, we can't be recording here after 6 or at 6. Bevins enters the game for the uh, Patriots. Shot rolls off the rim, and we'll have a foul. A foul will be on Velasquez. And it's going to send uh, Peril to the line. First one rattles the rim. 4.29 on the game clock, 5-4. Patriots leading the Bobcats here on viewer-supported hometown cable. That is good. is up and in by Bailey Cross and it's 6-6. Six, six. We are tied. The Patriots will keep it but not for long. Bobcats come up with it. Dutton and hands off. Cross will bring it up. Bringing it up. Shot 
That was missed. And lost it. Didn't get his footing. Uh, sub in number 11, Hansen, back in. Replacing Velasquez. 3 3 on the game clock. 6-6 six, six on the scoreboard. 34 degrees on the thermometer. That is short. And stolen away. That was missed. That was a nice steal and pass there by King, but uh, Collins can get it to fall. Blue ball and off the fingers of Dutton. 2.33 to go in the first quarter. Three point attempt is all net. Ethan King with the trade. And suddenly it's 9 6. Cats will keep it. King will bring it up. Intended for a cross, it's out of bounds. For the Patriots, 142 to go in the opening period. Reverse is short. King with the rebound. Here is the fountain. Guttman can't get it to fall. But and then can't get the rebound, rebounded by Perro. And traveling called by Andy Morelli. Coach Douglas says, yep, yep, yep. We got a minute 20 showing on the game clock, on the time clock. 9-6, we're in the first quarter. That was missed. Down with a shot after Hanson's rebound. Hansen with a long shot. And Hansen gets it back. There's still a fountain. And the toss will set up the offense. 44 seconds to go in the first quarter. And here come the Patriots. Off the mark and rebounded by Hansen. On the floor and in. Basket by Juttman, I believe it was LaFountain who hit him with the pass. 21 seconds to go. 11 6 Bobcats. So at least seven unanswered points. There's at least six four. Basket is good by Devins, and that's going to uh, end the first period. Where the Bobcats are leading the Patriots 11-8 here on viewer-supported hometown cable. I'm not sure that uh, should be sitting out there on the floor. Right? Just some hard corners if somebody goes flying into it. That's the thing you bring out the pregame, then move back out of the way. Cross anticipates the pass, steals it, lays it up, and in. And the second quarter starts with the Bobcats taking a 13-8 lead here against the visiting Patriots. No foul. Let's 
Mayfield's shot is missed. There's uh, Hanson. Blue ball. Zone special. Saddle up. King in foul for over the back. The blue ball. Ball. Stick it over for the hold. Whoop, there's a zoom here, looked away and 647 on the clock. Trying to see how much time there was and the camera keeps right on a zooming. Patriots take it away. Nice shot by Devon. Excellent shot. That's a 13-10. We're going to have traveling called. So I'll give the Patriots a chance to tie it with a tree. With a tree, yes. A three-pointer will do it. Whoa, just barely into the fourth court. the three-pointer off the back of the iron. It's going to be off the yellow, the blue ball. Blue ball. Rebound Velasquez. And King will bring it up. Patriots take it away. Pass a little too far out. Nice save. Good job keeping that in play by Hanley. But that's all he could do is just keep it in bounds and the Cats picked it up. Ethan King crowns another one there. Make it 16-10. Trees. And here come the Bobcats. Cross keeps it in play. Game for three. Whoa. Got a hot hand. Coach Douglas wants a timeout. His team is trailing 19-10 with 4.46 showing in the half. Defense. 424 showing in the seventh quarter. 
Nobody wanted it. Manning picks it up. Some patience. Still got 22 on the shot clock, a lot of time. Bobcats will get it. The Fountain will bring it up. Jiro's number on the scoreboard as for the foul. <laughs> he entered the game. there before he entered the game. Hard, hard to do, but he did it. Shot is missed. One four with the foul. This fellow on the right here, it's the first time he's ever kept the book. Always learning from one of the masters. 19-10. The fire was on peril. Well, Mr. Ethan King has got one of them hot hands to hear a lot about. He makes it 22-10. Inside move by Hanley. But the inside position and put the ball in. With 153 on the clock, the score is Northern Adirondack 22. And I'll say Bavali 12. King will shoot two. The foul is on Perro, his second. Team six, that's a five. Have Coolidge in, number 21, for the Patriots, and Hanson back in for the Bobcats. Turned around expecting to see a blue shirt. 
all he saw was gold. <laughs> so he went to plan B, but he had traveled by the time he was able to get around to plan B. 104 to go in the first half. Cross throws it up. Manson throws it back up and rebounded by Henley. King with the rebound. And Dutton is fouled. Twenty-seven seconds remaining. Twenty-three twelve the score. Second quarter. And they get 24-12. The Bobcats doubling the score here against the Patriots. Clock started at midcourt. Clock always seems to start a little slowly, no matter who's pushing the buttons. Patriots score, it's back to a 10 point ball game, 10 seconds to go in the half. Dutton and keeps it, throws it up. And Patriots have it, one second. 24-14, Osceola Valley leads at the half here on viewer supported hometown cable. What's a few exposed wires <laughs> between friends? <laughs> Only one way to tell if it's live is to uh, wet your finger and stick it in there. It's Bobcat ball, they're up by 10 as we start the second half. The ball comes in to La Fountain and action is underway. King is closely guarded by Taylor. What do we got here? Let's see. There's uh, Hanley. Hanley or Hanson? Hanson. Perez, this is off to Sicador, back to Perez. Stolen by Velasquez. And the fountain drives and misses. They come the Patriots. Stolen back by Cross. This goes up for the jumper. 26 12 Bobcats. Gold ball, Hanson the limbo. In the cross. Sicador, now Taylor is helping out. Sicador drives too strong. Rebound held down by Velasquez. Shot is missed. And it's going to be off Velasquez. It'll be Blue Ball. December 13th, 2012. 12-13-12. Didn't record any ball games yesterday, so I didn't get to say 12, 12, 12. I was looking forward to it 
all year long. <laughs> I was going to be here at Ticonderoga at NAC, but I ended up playing it the night before on Tuesday instead of on the Wednesday. They moved it up a day so the uh, Sentinels could get, a, get their concert in. Velasquez can't get the ball. Rebound pulled down by Peril. Stolen. King can't get it to fall. Now the Patriots will get it to midcourt and over and back is going to be called. I thought he'd gotten there. I thought he was in the, the backcourt. I was apparently wrong. There's the fountain. Over to cross. The last kid's back to cross. And the Patriots will bring it up. Shot is missed. Goal ball. On the line. No oh, foul. Ooh, the way Paul Garrick was pointing. I thought it was a stepping on the line, but he was only going to foul. <clears throat> the foul called there. Velasquez with the rebound in basket. 4:47 to go in the third. Southcats doubling the Patriots' score. It's 28. To 14. Looks like we'll get done in plenty of time for the concert at 6. Shot rolls off the rim and the shot is missed. There's the fountain. Arrow with the rebound up to Manning. Rebounded by Cross. 4-17 on the game clock. We're in the third quarter. King. Velasquez for three, rebound by Manning. Back for Perez and push called. Push from Jutman. The sub here. We got uh, Devons coming back in. He will replace Manning. And we'll have Taylor inbounding. Short jumper is short. And good defense there by Perez. Almost got the steal. And there's Hanson. Velasquez, too strong, we're down to the fountain. Whoa! <laughs> Taylor. <laughs> well, what happened there was Taylor blocked the shot, <laughs> so he got pushed. <laughs> and because he got pushed, he pushed back. So it was actually the food contact that got called if there was any contact on the block. So there's a block, it's stripped away, 
a retaliation on the Bobcat side, then the retaliation to the retaliation is what Paul Gehrig saw. <laughs> Taylor's shove was a, a good one there. Three thirteen to go in the third. Cats take it away. Hanson into the forecourt. Little fountain. to Velasquez, Hanson, start. pull down Perez, and the Patriots will keep it. Less than two and a half to go in the third quarter, 225 on the clock. The blue ball with 18 on the shot clock. We have King reporting back in. He's gonna replace Hansen. Looks like Devins will be the inbounder. Sicador over to Perez. Patriots will keep it. Cats take it away. Layup is off the rim, rebounded by Clark. Good follow. 30 to 14. We have a, a Sable Valley timeout for 155 showing in the third quarter. Refs are messing around. The timeout's over. It's over. For at least the second time we've seen the referees put the ball down. Time to inbound the ball. You've got five seconds to do it. So once the ref puts the ball down, he'll start counting. And then he cuts it out. Time to start the fourth quarter. December 13, 2012. The old varsity were modified tonight to the concert. Not sure why the JVs kept the same schedule that was original. Fouled to Colin Manning. Bobcats had to uh, reschedule because of the concert, but uh, maybe Coach Douglas had a, another commitment, so he probably couldn't make it uh, tomorrow night. So they rescheduled, or maybe Coach Gardner had the commitment. That's so, good by Velasquez. So they rescheduled. Uh, the other two were modified in, J in varsity, but not the JV. We were going to be here last night for Ticonderoga and NAC, but that game was rescheduled because of Ticonderoga's concert. That was girls basketball. Gold. Took a door, will inbound it. Shot taken by Jutman. Rebounded by Hanley. Six and a half left in the ball game. Okay, 
Taylor and Perez in for the Patriots. Hanson in for the Bobcats. So bring it back. Ball sits the side of the backboard. Five forty-five left in the game. For three, nope. And Zutton's tied up. Six twenty-two. Let's see, the fountain is in and Manning is back in. King. Bobcat timeout. They're up by 14, 516 remaining. We have a couple of contestants in the cute kid contest. There's contestant number one. Contestant number two. And contestant number three. You can vote. Just uh, send, a, send in your vote along with $25 to Hometown Cable. 1377 Ridge Road, Champlain, New York. 2919. It's $25 to vote. And it tells you on number one, number two, and number three. Which one do you vote for? And the winner will be Hometown Cable, because if 100 people vote, we'll have $2,500. So let's hope a lot of people decide to vote. Looks like uh, Devons is back in. Blue ball, 442 remaining. Blue down Velasquez. Oh, the fountain is going to be two points richer. Uh oh, somebody's all spiffed up for the concert, huh? Either that or the president of the Gary Moore fan club is here. Timeout. That's all right. Four five left in the ball game. Once again, our zoom takes over. A lot of spinning there for Perro. He gets the ball in. Jutman pulls up, too strong.
on Sicador. Traveling says Paul Gehrig. 319 left in the ball game. Looks like contestant number two wants a snack here. All's got room for Cheerios. Cream chips. What's your preferred snack at a basketball game? Catch with the ball. There's cross. Patriots bring it back. And whoa! was on Hansen, his first team fifth. Coolidge misses the first. Giro is in. Seven left in the game. 38-24 Bobcats. Twenty-five is in for the Cats. Twenty-five. Uh, Evan Lasway. Meanwhile, contestant number two just had a change of diaper. That's the way your vote, though. <laughs> you see, when the, uh, the other team gets the ball, you set the you reset the shot clock. <laughs> the basket counted, but it would have been nice if it had gone off as he was taking his last dribble there. And he says, what's that? Game over? Oh, there we go. We got Cheerios over there. This one's munching on Cheerios. We got somebody at the line. Though. I guess we have to watch that instead. Otherwise, Jackie will give me that. That's the fountain. His mother's been known to give me heck before. Patriots have the ball, 39-26. The Bobcats have 60% of the points in the ball game. Stolen by Devon. Blocked by Hansen, but on the continuation, the uh, Kind of ran over Devons, who landed a little earlier than uh, Hanson did, so luckily nobody got hurt in that. Taylor is back in for the 
Patriots replacing Coolidge. One fifty six to go. That's a shot. Foul is on the fountain. It's Hanley at the line. Oh, Hanley, not Manning. You know, Hanley. Fifteen. Not, uh, not five. Thirty-nine, twenty-nine, ten point game with one forty seven to go. Patriot ball. Laid in by Carroll. 120 remaining, stolen. Have an eight point ball game. This game isn't a, a W yet for the Bobcats. The basket by Hanley, and we're going to have a full timeout for the Bobcats. All of a sudden, the uh, 13 or 15 or whatever point lead is down to six. We still got a minute five to play. Patriots, six points away from tying this. Applying the full court pressure. Douglas is hollering for a timeout. And Marley said there's no possession. Cats had looked to take some time off. They spread out. There's a foul. Foul will be on Sicador. And now we want another timeout. 43 seconds remaining. It's 39-33. Bailey Cross will shoot a one and one. First one's the big one. Without the first one, there won't be a second one. But it also makes it a three possession game. Seven point difference. Two three pointers will no longer tie it. That's in both. And we got four subs in. Let's see. 11, 12, 14, 25. Hanson, Giro, Miller, and Lajway in. Cross, the only fellow who stayed in. Sikador is found. That'll stop the clock. That's what you don't want to do if you've got the lead. You don't want to stop the clock and give them a shot to no time ticking. 32 seconds to go. So it's two here. It's back to a six point ball game. Evans says nothing personal. Just some under following orders. Following orders. Something about stopping the clock. 
So Cross will get a chance to add a couple more. This is the ninth team foul. Both teams with nine fouls. One and one is missed. the door, no. Oh, the Patriots had the luck. Whoa! Play the whistle, play the whistle. Hanley, uh, Hanley wants to be called Manly now, I guess. That's what's good by Paro. 41 36, five seconds to go. No foul now, guys. There's one second on the clock. Uh, double, double bonus. So Cross will shoot two. The team is up by five. It's just a matter of how much they're going to win by. Tenth team foul, so it's double bonus, shooting two. Uh, he misses the first. And misses the second, and that'll do it. <laughs> See, somebody has to actually put that button in order for that clock to start. <laughs> uh, happens time after time on the timer. 41-36. Bobcats defeat the uh, Silver Valley Patriots. And that's the way it was in Junior Varsity Boys Basketball. 12-13-12. Coming at you from... Northern Adirondack Central School, beautiful downtown Ellenberg Corners. Thanks for watching. And for those of you who understand that this is viewer-supported local television, and without those folks supporting us, we wouldn't be able to be here. So if you want us to continue to come up here to the corners, we need to hear from you, hometown cable TV worthy of your support.